Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So I am so excited to show you this bag. This is the new, the Louis Vuitton high rise bum bag. It just came out. I actually ordered this bag with my sales associate on August 4th and I had it delivered on August 11th. So I've only had this bag for a few days now. And as many of you know, I don't really like doing a lot of unboxing, true unboxing. I do love that excitement of the first impression of what you feel the bag looks like, but I really like to give you guys on it, my honest review and be able to tell you what I like and what I don't like. And it's hard to tell you all those things if I'm opening it right when you're seeing the video. So I wanna make sure that I'm able to give you as much feedback and just give you my honest opinion. And as some of you know, I am trying to include in my videos why I purchased the item, what I love about it and what I don't like about it. So I am going to do that with this video as well. I am going to be showing you what fits inside of this bag and also I'm gonna do some mod shots. I do have a surprise for you guys. I actually have three other straps that I'm going to show you what this bag could look like if you wanna change up the look and also see if it's your style and maybe it's something that you would want. But obviously with this bag, you can do so many different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in and start talking to you about this bag. So uh, as far as people are asking like if this bag is really big or if it's smaller, I know that they came out with the mini bum bag that was really small. I will say I was in Aruba on a vacation and I saw the bag. It had just come out and I just didn't like it. I'm sorry. For me, it wasn't big enough. Uh, if you're someone who doesn't really carry much, maybe some an ID or money and maybe you have some cards and your phone, it's perfect. But, you know, sometimes I like to carry my sunglasses or I have glasses for reading and things like that. And, you know, I like to have at least a medium. I like small bags too, but I, they need to be practical enough where I can fit all my stuff, even my, just my bare essentials. And the mini bum bag just for me wasn't, it wasn't cutting it. So that's why I just decided to wait. Um, so I'm going to jump into this bag and just show you just some of the features of this bag. So I'm going to get closer. And, and like I was mentioning a minute ago, and I guess I tried was as far as if this is bigger. So this is definitely not a small bag. It's a really nice size. I do want to give you the measurements. So it's 15 inches. The length is 15. Uh, the height is 6.3 and the width is 3.1. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice size bag. Um, I'm going to get closer so you can see the details. So you can see everything here. It does have a detachable strap, all of the hardware, all the hardware is all gold. Uh, the, the outside does have an outside zipper pocket, which I'll show you in a moment. It obviously has one zipper po pocket here, which I will show you the inside as well. It has this name tag, and I'm hearing a lot of people say that they don't like, like the name tag, which is fine, because it is removable. So you can easily slide this thing off and it comes right off. So if you have a coin pouch, you can hang the coin pouch on there as well, which I'll probably grab the coin pouch for you so you guys can see what that looks like as well. Because I think that might be a really good thing if you're someone who may be carrying some AirPods or you're carrying, you know, your car key or whatever you're using it for. It might be nice to see the different look. But um, so this is removable. The uh, strap is also removable, which I really love that you can remove that and you can swap it with other straps. Uh, the strap is adjustable. So right now it's at the smallest length. But I am going to be doing some mod shots and I'm going to show you what it looks like at the longest length. And I'm going to show you some other strap options as well. But um, it's a really pretty bag. I mean, I want to show you, I'm going to do another quick view. I want you to see the front. This is a side view. You can see how slim that is, right? It's not like the other bum bag that everyone's going crazy over that's always, that's, that sold out in high demand item where I, I'm seeing people, some people are selling the other bum bag, the original bum bag for three, four thousand dollars. I wasn't willing to pay for that. I'm actually really happy that I waited, but um, you can see it's pretty slim bag. So, I mean, it's definitely not like the old bum bag. So I do like that. And I love that they put an outside zipper here. And I actually do like, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like like the, the tag here, but you can remove it, which I think is pretty nice. So I do like that. And even though the strap's lighter, I think it looks pretty nice. I do like that. And you do have the option to order other bandolier straps. So you don't necessarily have to keep this strap. If you want a black one, order a black one. And that one might be more practical if you're worried about getting it dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you, I'm gonna try to just show you the, the bottom. There's not much to show because you can see it's really flat. So very, very flat, flat bag, of course, until you start filling it, which I will fill it for you too, so I can show you what fits inside. But let me go ahead and open the bag so you can see what the inside looks like. So this is the inside. So the inside, 
is like a cream color, really cream color liner. You can see the actual Louis Vuitton thing, uh, logo, the stamp there. Uh, but yeah, look at, you can see, I mean, if you can see, I'm going to see if with the light, it does have like the logo, the Louis Vuitton imprint in here in the fabric. It's just really hard to see. I'm going to see if I can get really, really close. There you go. You might be able to see it there a little bit, but you can see the logos in there. So, but it's a pretty nice size, pretty big. I mean, I'll show you in a moment what fits inside the back. Also, as you can see, it's a really large, really wide strap. So that's really nice. The inside also fairly large, which I'll show you as well if it's in there. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't want to waste your time and, and just talk and talk about this bag. But uh, let me jump in now and show you what fits inside. Okay, so I'm actually, I have my Speedy 25 here, which this is one of my favorite bags of all time. I looked for this bag for a very long time and finally found it. So I love this bag, but I wanted to show you what I have I'm in my Speedy 25. I, you know, these are all my essential things. So I'm just going to grab stuff out of my current bag that I'm using right now and just put inside of the bum bag just for perspective so you could see what actually fits in here. So I'm going to be pulling out a couple of different things. So. I've got this toiletry 15. I'm going to put that in here and see if it fits. And it does. Put it right in the middle because this part is a little bit deeper. What else do I have in here? I have a card holder. So I'm going to be putting that in there. I have a checkbook. I'm going to be putting that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just start shoving things in here just because I want to see practically like what fits in here. So. So I've got the checkbook. I'm putting that in the back. I've got my toiletry 15. That's in the front. See, there's a little bit of space here on the sides, but not a whole lot. So, I mean, these two items do take up a lot of space. So I do want to show you that. Look how thick that is. In the back, if I wanted to put like maybe a card holder, I could put that back here. And actually, I can probably fit that in here because it's so thin. So I'll put that in here. So I have toiletry 15 that's really full. My card holder that's also full. And my checkbook, they're all really full. So I'm not going to put any more stuff in here because I don't want to deform the bag and make it look a little odd. So now I've got this whole space here, which is perfect for a phone. And this is the iPhone, like the largest one, the Plus. So I'm going to put that right in here. And I want to just show you what that looks like. But look, it fits right in there. Yep, fits right in there. So now look at the bag. Move some of these things aside, but look, the bag's a little full. I have my phone on the back here and the zipper. I have my toiletry 15 that's really full, a card holder and a checkbook all in here, and it fits perfect. And even the side view, look, you, it does look a little bit thicker and more full, but it's not like deformed. It doesn't look odd. It doesn't look weird. It still looks really good. And what's funny is that in my, in my bag of the daily things that I use, the only thing that I didn't fit in here that I have in here is another, I have two eyeglass cases. So they're here. These two eyeglasses didn't fit in here, but you know, if I'm being honest, if I'm going to wear my bum bag, I'm probably not going to check a check, take a checkbook. And I would probably use my toiletry 15, but you know, I may not always use that. So I think I can be creative enough where I could probably fit my sunglasses in here. And I think definitely. So let me just show you. If you're someone who doesn't travel with a toiletry 15, I will say this is what's taking up most of the space. Look how big this is and how wide. That's taking up a lot of room. Now, now let's take that out. Now I've got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually show you what I normally put in my bag. So let's do a pair of sunglasses, my card holder. Let's see what else am I going to put in here? Sunglasses, card holder. I may put a lipstick or a lip liner in here, but to be honest, I'll probably put that more inside this pocket so it doesn't roll around in the bag because it seems to be more fitted. If you have some type of little skinny pouch or something, you can shove that in here. But I will say, I'm like, I wouldn't put my Toiletry 15 in here. I just wouldn't. It's too big. I think it's too big for this bag. So, but it's, it's all preference. I mean, as you can see, it does fit. So if you want to put it in there, you can absolutely put it in there. So what I want to do um, next is I want to just show you some mod shots. And I also want to show you a couple of different uh, options for straps so that you can see that. I'll also grab my coin pouch so that you can see what that looks like on here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. But before I do that, I do want to tell you a couple things. I want to tell you why I bought the bag. 
Well, the reason why I bought this bag was because I didn't have a Louis Vuitton bum bag. I've actually been wanting one for a long time. I had one for a, a while ago, but you know, there were just a couple of things that I didn't like about it. I didn't like the original bum bag that was so, because it's so big. Like you see how thin this is? The other bum bag's not like that. It just really sticks out and looks very bulky. And I don't really like big bulky bags, to be honest. I like a bag if it's gonna be on my shoulder, but if I'm gonna have it like as a cross body and I'm gonna have it really close to my body as a bum bag, I just don't like it that big. So that's probably the main reason why I bought this bag was because, you know, I didn't have one. And what I love about this bag, I absolutely love that it's so slim. I love that it's so slim and I love the way it sits on your body, which I'll show you in a minute. It just sits so nicely on your body. It's amazing. It truly is amazing. Um, what I don't like about the bag, ah, this thing, I really, really don't like this, is I don't like that they went with a very light color for the inside. I mean, I get that they want the bag to look nice, but I feel like, I mean, if you if you are someone who has Louis Vuitton bags and you have like the lighter liner, I mean, it's hard to keep clean. Like, so I wish they would have done like a brown or a darker color because then you could throw things in and out and you wouldn't worry so much about it getting dirty and dingy. So for me, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be spraying all of the vachetta. I'm going to spray it all down. I'm going to spray the strap down. I don't want my strap to look dirty. I don't want it. I don't want watermarks on any of the untreated vachetta. I am going to spray the heck out of all of this. And I'm also going to be spraying with Apple Guard the inside of the liners. I do it with all my bags and I've never had any problems. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I do have a video on my channel with the Apple Guard application. What I do and what I, what I, uh, apply, you know, what I do to apply the Apple Guard. So maybe you can look for that video if you're interested in learning more about the Apple Guard, but it is really safe. I've never had any issues. So if you have any questions, let me know, but I'm going to go ahead and jump now into, um, the different straps and also just the mod shots. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what it looks like. And of course the name of the bag is that it's called the high rise bum bag. So it is pretty high, but I want you to see just what, how that sits. Like I was mentioning earlier, what I loved about this bag is that it's really slim. And look at that. Look how slim that is. I mean, right now I have it at the shortest length, which I mean, if you like it shorter, then this is going to be perfect for you. But you can see, look at how slim that is. If you own the older, the older version, it's really bulky and you can kind of like your arm kind of sits like this, but look how slim this is. I can pretty much have my arm all the way down and it looks great. So I do want to show you the side view. Look at the side. And also the back, look how nice that is. If somebody that wants to work more towards the back, you can see that. Super nice. Um, I do want to show you how long I can actually extend this strap because I do want you to have that option, that perspective of how long does the strap actually go. And I will tell you just in case you're looking for measurements, the strap drop is 25.6 inches and the drop max is 37 inches. So now you saw how high that was. Now look at this is at the longest length. This is a lot longer. You can see that. You can see the strap here through the back. You can see it back there. Oops. But you can see how, how low that is. I mean, you can definitely, I mean, this is definitely a lot longer. So if you're taller, I think it'll still fit really nicely. But you know, again, like I mentioned earlier, you can buy some other uh, bandolier straps. You don't necessarily have to use this one. They, they sell a couple different options on the website, but you can also snag them through other websites. Some people sell them pretty loved as well. So I think that's always like a, a win in my opinion. I do want to show you really quick what this looks like with the coin pouch. I did promise that. So I do want to put that on there really quick just to show you. So now if you wanted to wear it like this, this is what it looks like. And I don't think it looks bad. I mean, so it's just hanging there. So you could do that as an option. So now what I do want to show you really quick is just a couple different strap options in case you're thinking about buying this bag and you're thinking of, you might actually have some of these straps in your collection. So just a different way to wear it. So the first strap is this strap here. This is the strap that comes with the Pachet Matisse. So it's a lot, it's a little bit longer strap. Like right now I have it at the shorter length, but you can see this, look at this. I just want to show you, look how nice that looks. 
It's a little bit longer. It, it probably is almost the same length as the original strap that it came with at the longest length, but look at how nice that looks. So I think that looks really nice. And because the strap is so long, obviously you're not going to be able to, if you're taller, then obviously this would probably come up a little higher. But I think this strap's really nice, especially if you don't want to worry about the other strap, you know, this strap getting dirty. You could always, you know, use this strap. I think this is a nice option. So now I'll show you another strap. Okay, so now I have another strap here. This is actually... I'm not sure if it's still on the website for Louis Vuitton, but this is the shoulder strap VVN. So the, or the number is J00109. And this is just another strap option, which I really like. I think this one's really cute as well. But here right now, you can see how that looks. But I think this looks really nice too. So I would love to hear what you guys think. You know, if you like this strap as well. But this one was on the website, and I think it was like $3.45 maybe on the website. But I do like the way this looks as well. This is a really nice strap option. And then the other, just to give you another like bandolier, this actual strap came with a multi pochette accessories bag. This is what the, the strap comes with that one. So if you have, if you own that, you can see what that looks like. This is like the pink color, and it does have like the brown on it. But I do want to just show you. This is what that looks like. You know, if you do own this strap, another strap option. You've got the little, the brown lining here with the brown letters. And then you also have the, the vachetta there, but you can see how that looks. Another option. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I know this is a little bit longer than normal, but I did want to show you as much as I could with this bag, especially since it's an item that just came out. So I really do hope that you enjoyed my uh, video. And if you have any comments or thoughts, I would love to hear what you think. And like I always tell all of you, please, you know, like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Every like and, sub and subscription also helps my channel. So I really appreciate all of you guys. So hopefully I'll see you again next time.